Hey campers, we're inside the camper. And check it out. This is the washing machine I was telling you about. This is what it looks like when you get it out of the box. And uh, I got this about two months ago, so I've used it. But I'll put this back like that so you can see what it looks like when you get it out of the fucking box. All right, you got your three dials up there. You got your timer. You got your drain. Oh, there you go. Right there. You got your drain. Your regular. And it's even got a softer cycle for delicates. And this is your spin timer over here for this over here. We'll show you all that. This is it. Take that off right there. And that's it. So check this thing. It's so cool, actually. Unfortunately, it is made in China. All right. Oh, and let me just say this. You guys, listen, check it out. If ever I'm using something, uh, I am not sponsored by anybody. And whatever I do use, if I say something great about it, if I say something bad about it, that's just because I'm using it. Uh, if this thing sucked, I'd tell you this thing's a piece of shit. But it doesn't suck because I've used it. And it, it, there is no it'd be fucking killer if they had a matching dryer that go with it, but they don't. But it's for what it is... Man, you know, I have to go, hey, hey. Uh, yeah, that is a wound. Um, it's not the stigmata. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so I don't get paid for any of that shit. I don't make anything off of any of that shit. Uh, it's not a review. If you want to look at it as a review, I mean, okay, but I'm really just a dude using the shit because and what I use at any given time is what my budget dictates that I can use. So it might be something cool like this. That I got for a great steal, and I'll tell you about that. Or it might be something fucking, you know, cheap and stupid. Uh, but you might see quite a bit of that. Or it might be something completely homemade, because I make a bunch of shit. If it, I can do it out of wood. Anyway, this I got for 90 bucks off of Timu. Now, I've heard about the child labor shit. Don't start hating. I heard about that shit after I got all this stuff. I don't order shit off of Timu anymore. Um, at least I... That was a rumor I heard. I don't know. I never checked into it. So if you want to fact check shit, don't take me as spreading any kind of rumor. I just don't. It, You know what I'm saying? It's all Chinese shit. And so I've kind of shied away from that. But I needed a washer for the fucking whoo, the camper. Sorry if I made you sick there, but I don't want you all to get a great view. Of, <laughs> it's my fucking dirty camper. I haven't cleaned it. This is the camper. Yeah, see, you got the cool cooking over there. Oh, 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 geez. That's a little 420 there. Uh, bathroom and which is where this goes you can do it outside it's a really cool setup and bathroom dinette makes a bed two recliners make a bed queen size bed right there there's a camper uh my giant ass fucking tv yeah you know because of course man i needed my fucking tv um and it's my tv the tv <clears throat> will stay in this camper anyway this is what it is it's chinese it's man i mean it's yes, it's plastic. It's this is cheaper plastic. This is more solid, but it, it, it but yeah, I mean, it's fucking sturdy, sort of. Uh, you get right here. It's a Zinni or Zinis. I don't know, man. Probably, you know, in China, it's probably like Xi Wakaja. Who knows? But there you go. Made in ting, tong, ting, tong, tong, China. But this thing, dude, is a beast because I wear, I wash my fucking khakis cargo shorts in it my work shit this thing gets used a couple of times a week every week <laughs> i mean i do my laundry here and I'm, you don't see any laundry hanging around except my towels on the door over there but this place usually has laundry hanging all over it because of course here again there is no dryer i do have this kind of funky dryer and i'll bust that out in another video um it's interesting but it leaves your stuff kind of crinkly um, uh, so, and I do use fabric softener. So, let me pause this, and I'll set the camera up in the bathroom, because you don't need to have a tour of my fucking tiny-ass bathroom. I'll just point it at the shower, and I'll show you how I get it in there, and hook everything with stupid easy hooks up in less than a fucking minute, and you're fucking washing clothes. Be right back. All right, campers, we're back. Check it out. This is the extremely small shower. You do get used to it, sort of. <clears throat> it's dealable. Trust me. I live in this fucking thing. Anyway, first things first with the cool ass little fucking washing machine. The styrofoam that comes with it. It's got this little cutout right here, right? 
Well, you know, you can set that thing outside and plumb the water to it and do all this outside because gray water, you know, can go onto the ground. It's no big deal. Um, or, you know, you can, you got a giant gray water tank. And let's say like today it's raining outside. Woohoo. See, I got, you know, got drain down in there. It drains like a real shower. It's just small. Uh, think of it like an apartment size, uh, 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 college size ref dorm refrigerator. This is like a dorm refrigerator version of a shower. Anyway, you go like this, because it's got that cut out, and that way, when you're water drains your shit your washing machine is up out because it's electric you know uh it's off the off the thing it's out of the water and it sits right in because this is this thing it sits in and it's packaging and it sits right on that and you believe it well no you wouldn't believe it but let me tell you you wouldn't believe actually how sturdy this makes it so i need to pause it again because you probably or are just fuck it you, know, you see me struggle with this shit so we bring we get the fuck in washer come on Whoa. bring it on in here it only weighs let me see this thing weighs probably i don't know about 10 pounds or so you know it's not that it's really really not that bad and so check it out you just go ahead get your little shower connection right here yeah let's go ahead and just undo that right there you go just, just drain that on out yeah, there we go. Now that can just stay. We'll clean it that way. Alright, so there's a drain hose over here. Check it out. That's your drain hose. You just unhook it. Turn it. Put it like that. And make sure you guys are squared back up there. Alright, sorry for jiggling you around so much. Now you're at the top. Now, check this out. This is a cool thing. Reach in there. What comes what comes with it. See, let me tell you something right here. Check it all out. Whoa, yes, sir. Proud. Proud of what went down over there. Of what I did. And we will talk about the circumstances of the bitch, the fucking discriminated against this <laughs> I took my job away anyway I'm going to talk about that now I do have PTSD ADD um you name it I probably got it maybe touching Asperger's who the fucking knows um uh, you're probably hear some funny shit man don't hate just we're here along for the ride that's about it anyway you got your hose right check this out as if a little flexible in there so take it over here and he was working on the end of your threaded piece right there. Water inlet. Water inlet. This is your spin dryer. Same time, a little basket in there. Spin. And you turn that on. Right. The drain button. This has no bearing on this. This has bearing on this. So, standard. Closes the drain. The drain is, if it's not in that position, it's closed. Don't even worry about that right now. You take your other end of your water hose. You just push it on to the water inlet. Like so. We'll put that in there. Now, got some work shit up in there. All right. I'm going to go grab a, Oh, ouch. Grab a couple other things real quick. Woo, pair of socks. And a t-shirt. And a pair of drawers. How about my other veteran hat? So I got work here on that. And uh, we'll leave the other couple things for now. We'll just do that. And here you go. Check it out. Now here again. See? I don't know if I can show name brands if that's right, wrong. I'm not promoting it. I'm not trying to sell it. This is just shit that I use because, dude, <clears throat> I love the smell of fucking gain. I'm sorry, dude. I love it. And uh, we've always used Tide, and it's got the Oxy. So, it just works good. So, check it out. I'm just going to set that shit right there for a minute. All right. So, this is what you do. You just turn on your water. That was the heater heating. There you go. Get the hot going. Now, we got the... 
make sure you have all that cold going. I'm just gonna take you over just for a minute so you can see the water going in. Can you see the water going in, in there? Just like that. Drain is closed, so it's filling up. Trust me, this is gonna throw out some fucking dirty water. And you're gonna be like, what? And I'll show you. I'll open it up. You can open it while it's running. Um, so, let's go let that go right there. And there is a slot up in here. So, if you forget about it, like, <clears throat> uh, like I do sometimes, and I'll turn around about you know, two minutes later and I'll be like, oh shit, check it out, dude. There's, uh, <laughs> there's water draining out. I forgot to shut the drain. Or, it's up here and it's draining over the side because there is a drain here. Fill it too full, like, a, oh shit, and turn it off. And then turn this on as it spins the thing around. Makes the cyclonic action in here. Um, whirlpool action. It'll drain the excess water out of that slot up there. And just come out. Anyway, the water will drain down and around in here. And you'll see it kind of like that. But that's going to be going right there. So just use a little bit of soap. How much soap you use is according to whatever you want to use. And Use free and clear, you can use freaking purple shit, you can use blue shit, I don't give a shit. Um, like that, like that. I'm gonna use that one, let's go. I'm gonna use a whole cap of game, man, because I love using game. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, baby, that does that put me in my motherfucking happy place. Oh, yeah. I know something else that put me in my motherfucking happy place. I can, I can put myself in my happy 420 place here in just a second. Oh, baby. But yeah, see, we just let that shit fill, fill up. And then we're gonna let you just kind of watch it. It doesn't take long. Um, I don't want to make it. Anyway, so we'll sit here for a second, you know. Uh, yeah, living in the camper's pretty cool. I got a great idea for people like me that have campers about this size or less. I don't want to cater to the giant campers because those people have freaking money. They, you know what I mean? I, no one goes for the 420 drift camper that is a broke fucker. I can't myself. <laughs> and I have an idea for people like me. And uh, it started with losing my last job. And there's a huge discriminatory story and civil rights fucking story behind all that incident drawn out we don't talk about that now um but this is where that idea spawned from because before i moved to virginia to take that job my wife and i we had a three-story house in eastern pennsylvania up on college hill in the nicest area of eastern uh, and we were good you know and so we sold that got hammered by my but believe it or not, my biological dad actually just, dude, kind of reneged on our original agreement and took us to the fucking bank. Um, so we got out of it with our credit okay and able to pay a few things off, but moved down here having to live, you know, check, believe it or not, check the fucking check in an $1,800 month apartment in, believe it all places, Portsmouth fucking Virginia, which living there... Well, yeah, I'm just going to, anyway, let's just not talk about Portsmouth, Virginia, um, and the hell that Lexi went through with her first school there being, like, the only white kid in the public school system there, and this is not coming, this is coming from someone who's in the Deep South who was raised by a, a black nanny, man, I loved her, she was my second mom, but... The public school system here was not diversified, and those kids in there were fucking hellions. They just, they just fucking, it was like daycare for the older kids, because the parents can't be bothered, because they were all sort of standing on the fuck's corners and shit. I know that sounds terrible. But, uh, and we throw everything in here, like that. Um, but it's true, they be working. You know, Darcy and I can't do it. We're good. Shut our water off. Like that. Check it out. This is a killer. Oh, shit. You know what I forgot? I told you. You're going to see some funny shit. We got to plug it in. Just so you got a cord back here. 
right? Make sure you got this plugged into some power. <laughs> Your timer will go and you won't have nothing. Boom. All right, let's go. Bam, we're back at 15. Let's go, we're rolling. We gotta hold up. You go already check the inside of the sound. This is so cool. This is so cool. Watch this. Let's now when that water comes out, it's gonna be dirty as shit. Alright. And that is it. I'm just gonna let that wash. 15 minutes. I'm just gonna film that and see how we can what we do with it. I'm just gonna sit there in this little thing and wash and wash. Anyway. I wonder how far I can zoom. Oh, you can't zoom in this camera. See you all in 15 minutes. Keep in mind that clicking sound you're hearing is the bill of my hat hitting the spinner in the bottom. It's not anything that's my hat, it's not anything with a washer.
Yeah. Trey Joe don't have smell of vision. That's the <laughs> you'd be like, damn, that's no good. And have some, and a little bit of Joe there. And check it out. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it in a coffee mug like this. <clears throat> Camping. <clears throat> right home. Blue enamel. I love it. Uh, yeah, these are cheap ass motherfuckers. See, this is some cheap ass shit I got. Uh, I don't know who makes it. Of course, there's see, there ain't no tag on it. Who fucking knows, man? some dumb fucking shit. It was cheap. It works, though. It functions. And here again, I ain't gonna say go buy nothing like this, but I only had a few bucks. I needed something. It came with four plates, four cups, four bowls, and, uh, and a little netted thing. It's pretty neat. God, I think I got it from Walmart. But, um, yeah, yeah it fucking works. Hold my coffee good. Yeah, shit. We're gonna use that. We're gonna use a little bit of Thinner. Yes, sir. Maybe later it's gonna be in the 60s tonight. I'll bust out my solo stove. A little fire happening over there, maybe. maybe we'll, uh, make some cocoa. Maybe watch a little outdoor movie. Alright. Just so. That's good. Camping. Okay, happy campers. I have coffee. I, you know, smoking 420, baby. So I'm a happy camper. Anyway, let's come on in here. So check it out. We're going to open this thing up. It washed. Look at that fucking water. Look at that fucking water. Ah, yuck. All right, so check it out. Sorry if that was loud. All right, here we go. You're going to come right up here. You're going to hit your drain. Just going to let it drain on out. Watch that. Look at that shit. Ew, dang, dirty water. Go ahead. Now, you can do one of two things if you wanted to. You can do this. You can let that drain, because it drains down the bottom, and fill this back up with water, and maybe run it through with just water to sort of, you know, rinse it a little bit, rinse agitate if you want. Or you can take it out and you put it in here, put your water to that, and let it sit in the little bit of water that runs through here and semi-rinse before you start the spin. That's up to you. That was kind of dirty. So I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the two wash. Actually what I'll do is I'll do both. 
both at the same time. The socks were really dirty. So I'm gonna take a shirt out and a pair of drawers and I'll put those in the spin. I will go ahead and fill that with water quick. Every all this drains out. Just make sure. It's all good. See, that's the drain right down. That's the drain right down there. And, uh, okay, so check this out. Let's go ahead. We'll fill that back up. We have the drain is back to standard, right? All right. We're going to fill that up to about, you see that line going across right there? Right there. We're going to go just a little bit above it. Yeah, because we're going to take a couple pieces out to put in there. So we're going to freaking just fill that over there. That should be enough. So let's open that up. We'll go ahead and get our shirt out. Hey, shirt. I'm just kind of, you know, make sure it's not in a blob. It's just kind of sort of spread it out. And there's your drawers. Now, you can do, you don't have to do this both at the same time. I'm just doing this because I want to rinse these few things a little bit more because my socks are extra dirty because I'm a landscaper right now. And I'm just showing you that you can, one, you can do both at the same time. Or if you're doing that all in here and the this at the same time. But it's been kind of cool. See, so your stuff is in here. Alright, it's all flattened out. Alright, you're good. Now, this one right now, doing it this way, that's on hold. Because we've got to take the time to fill that up. And put the tripod legs out. Sorry for the jiggling. And make sure we'll sit back on over here and watch that. Because I know that just makes you so invigorated that you want to run into a fucking pee. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. And plus, this will rinse out. It'll agitate up what sand and stuff came out of the clothes. Because you're going to get on the paper. And it'll sort of semi clean that. So when you rinse it again, you'll get some more stuff out. Yeah, it does make your shower basin dirty. And you got to rinse it out. Or it'll kind of get to looking grimy and you gotta really scrub it really clean. It does come clean, but you know. So, you guys enjoy that. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. All right, so check that out. Yep, look at that. Then we got a fan up there too. I could open that up, but we're going to do the rain. I don't like shit falling down inside the screen because I can't get up on top of the camper yet. I don't have a big enough ladder. All right, so you see where the water is right there? All right, I'm going to set y'all back down and then I'll turn the water off and I'll show y'all how this is so cool. We're going to split this thing off like that. All right, water's off. Ready to go. Go ahead. Turn it on. Oh, it's agitating the shit out of it. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at that shit. Watch. Watch. Yes, sir. Okay. Anyway, that's down. That's going. All you got to do is this. Check it out. You can just pull that off. Set it right there. You slide it over this water in like. This water inlet is only for this. This water inlet is only for this. So, now, we'll come back over here. Check it out. And this is where the water's going to come out of from right there. And so I use this these poles. And it pops out just like that. And it hits sort of mostly in the center. So I let it saturate really good. And it sort of starts semi-rinsing stuff out. No, I just kind of move it around. 
pretty sure if these are good and saturated wet, because you're gonna some, use some transfer force, believe it or not, it's really gonna wring the shit out of this. And you'll be like, holy oh, fuck, it's actually trying really almost dry. Right. There. And this thing will not run with this or this open. This has to be shut to shut this. This won't run with the door open. So I leave the water running so it keeps saturating shit. I close the lid. I go ahead and turn the timer. There it goes, it's off. And it's it's just working, it's just shaking a little bit right now because I'm doing both at the same time. Of which I'm probably gonna cut that off. We'll go ahead and drain that. And there you go, see, here we go. Got some more dirt drain water coming down. We're in the drain, drain the water out. Right. Now we're gonna let that spin. The spin timer max is five minutes. Then you can sit there while it's spinning, and then listen, you go. And just let it separate through. And then you let it go.
the rubbing of the styrofoam makes a lot of that noise. Now, if I would have opened it while it was still spinning, there's a break in there that'll actually break it to where it stops almost immediately. Um, I wouldn't recommend testing it all the time because when I mean, you can break it, it is made in China. But, hey, it does it. Anyway, and it sounded sort of like that because the underwear threw it off. It would have been just a shirt. But there it is. And it's clean. I'll tie it up over the rail right there. And, uh, mm, God, man, it sends me to my happy place, man. Yes, yes, yes. One day maybe I'll tell you what that happy place is. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there we go. And here I've got another pair of drawers going in here. And we got this whole heavy shirt going in here, but we got socks that are gonna offset the drawers. So it ought to not be so we'll go ahead and here we go. Got the water happening. Uh being ducking in the camper, doing the laundry. The laundry in the boom ducky camper. I'm gonna throw the hat in here just for a minute, just rinse it out a little bit. And get some fresh water to it. Yeah. Now, that I'll just put right over here. And let it drain. Then, put my socks in there, all around. And then we'll just distribute themselves all around. There we go. Alright. As you can see, nothing in there, everything in there. It also goes a lot of, of the water that's in it because I'm rinsing sometimes. I've noticed if I just put it in there and let the water drain out on its own and start it and add water to it, it sometimes starts smoother. But also at the same time, in my head, it just doesn't seem to work as, as soon as the water hits the top fabric, it's just going to go in and go out. And so that's why I just try to get fresh water all the way down, at least to the core. So we start spinning it, pushes on the sofa. I think that's my reasoning. Probably crazy. Some of you guys probably comment, man, you're a fucking whacking nut. But whatever. It's cool. It's good. Alright, so I'll spare y'all the duration of this and I'm gonna not long, because now I get to hit it again. I'm gonna
and that's it. You're done. Your laundry's done. Open it up. Bam, bam. Socks coming out damn near dry. Literally, you put these, you put two pairs of socks like this on a freaking hanger, hanging up over there, and uh, man, that should be dry and damn near fucking two hours, two hours, two and a half hours. Oh, you see this one? The shirts take longer, and the drawers take longer, of course. But I'm gonna throw all that up here on the rail for the time being. And I'll go get some hangers, and we'll hang. I'm gonna hang it up, and so it'll dry. And that is everything out of there. So that is the Zenny or the Ching Tong 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 washing machine from China. That's it, and it, and it works, man. I mean, my shit is, mm, damn, freaking it's clean. I mean, ground is ground in. I mean, it's discolored a little bit because I'm here on a landscaper, but hey, my shirts and shit, they're fucking clean as shit. It smells good. It works every time I need it to. And it, it's totally so portable here in the camper, and it, it would work off the solar-powered shit and everything. It's so, that's what makes it so killer, is it totally fits into the boondocking lifestyle. Anyway, it's off-grid, man. That's what I want to do. Be completely independent. I don't want to have to go inside for nothing. So... Anyway, that's it. You guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to y'all later.